I only have three right now, but I will definitely have more in the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are pressing forward in the Indie Nail Polish Review bandwagon that I'm on right now. And my friends, my countrymen, my ladies, I got some amazing polishes to share with you. I have in my little paws three magical bottles from Tonic Polish. I found out about this brand via Instagram. I believe it was either Stacy from Polished Ways or Polished Pony. One of the two of them had posted their Tonic Polish order or like their haul and I fell in love and I had to buy them immediately. So these were the three that I purchased from Tonic Polish. I believe I talked about them in my nail, Indie Nail Polish haul that I did, what was that, almost two months ago now. So now we finally get to delve deep into these polishes and talk about how magical and glorious and fantastic these polishes are. And the three that I have are Enchanted Elixir, Rainbow Fish, and Angel Fish. We are going to start with Enchanted Elixir and I'm just going to give you a moment to look at it. Like, just, just look at it. It looks like the galaxy. Like, I feel like I'm holding an entire galaxy in my hand. This is an amazing, an amazing polish. We've got like this dark navy blue, and there's also a duochrome shimmer in there as well. There are some holographic glitters. There are some metallic glitters. It's just everything you could ever want in a polish has been jam-packed and shoved into this thing, and you're just holding the universe in the palm of your hand. The fun thing about this polish is not only does it look fantastic in the bottle, it's amazing on the nails. It's so pretty. When I first tried this one out, I was blown away by the formula. In one very thick coat, it was very, very opaque. You could almost walk away from it and see like, and be just like, bye Felicia, I am done. I am ready to go. I've got the universe on my fingertips. Let's get out of here. But this, a second coat does make it a little bit darker. It increases that shift more dramatically, making it very, very striking and very obvious that there's some duochrome happiness happening in here. So I definitely recommend a second coat, even though it looks really good in one. It does dry to like this kind of semi-glossy matte finish, which I wasn't necessarily a fan of simply because I want it to look like what it looks like in the bottle. So I added a really nice, beautiful, glossy top coat to it, and it just made it absolutely perfect. It sealed the deal completely with a beautiful, glossy top coat. Absolutely stunning. There are no words that can describe this polish other than... <sighs> Okay, the next polish that I have is one that just, it was love at first sight. It was love at first sight. This is angelfish and it is so delicate. Like you just, you wanna hold it with like little teeny tiny cherished little gloves and you don't wanna hurt it and you don't wanna bruise it because it just looks so soft and light and just beautiful, 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 beautiful. So we have this amazing kind of lavender lilac soft base going on that has a little bit of a shift happening. Then you have some dual chrome flakies. You also have some holographic glitter in there as well, along with some metallic glitter just in general. So again, you have all these amazing components that on their own are fantastic. And then you pump them into this like bottle and you get like this lavender baby unicorn that's amazing. Amazing. It's so incredibly beautiful and just breathtaking. I found this formula to be a little bit sheer for me So in one coat it was kind of not happening. I was a little bit sad But it makes sense why it is so sheer We have such a light heavenly color that of course you're gonna have to build it up in order to get it to look like what you see in the bottle It honestly only took me two coats though I thought it was gonna be at least a three coater, but it was good in two I do highly recommend putting a nice glossy top coat on it not only to kind of even out some of the bumpy flakies that can happen in this polish, but also just to really make it just heavenly and glossy and flawless. Heavenly unicorns and cherub babies. I just, I can't get enough of this one. It's gorgeous. The next polish that we have is called Rainbow Fish, and Rainbow Fish is very similar to Angel Fish in the, in the sense of the, like, components inside this polish. There's a holographic shimmer running through it. We have some holographic 
uh, glitter. There are also some, some duochrome flakies in there. The only difference is that Rainbow Fish has more of a teal green base color as opposed to Angel Fish, which was kind of a purple lavender color. The formula was very, very similar to Angel Fish in the sense that it is sheer. The first coat was a little disappointing in the sense that it just wasn't that opaque. There was hardly any color on my nail, but the second coat remedied that perfectly. There was very smooth application. I didn't have any dragging or lagging. You just definitely need two coats. It does dry down a little bit, so we do have some bumpiness happening with the flakies that are in there. I want it to look like what I see in the bottle, and honestly, the only way I could do that was by adding a top coat to it. These polishes are amazing. I absolutely adore these polishes. They are expensive. They are very expensive. Even for indies, I find these to be rather expensive, but honestly, they're worth it. Like, they're so worth it. My only problem with this brand is that it does take a very long time for processing, which the company is completely transparent about on their Etsy store. If you go to her Etsy shop and you order from her, there's a large disclaimer saying that, like, processing does take anywhere from one to two weeks. I actually had forgotten I had ordered these <laughs> until they had shown up at my door. So that's the only downside I can have for tonic polish is that the processing time takes a lot longer than you want it to, but it is totally, totally acceptable given the fact that it is an independent nail polish company, that this is a solo woman project. She is mixing these on her own. She is hand pouring them on her own. And obviously you can only do so much with so many hours in the day. So there's some real beautiful creativity happening over at Tonic Polish. So I highly recommend you check them out. Absolutely fantastic. Just be aware that the processing time is going to be a while, but they're so worth it. Just think of them as just baby unicorns that are arriving to your home. And of course, it's going to take a while for those magical baby unicorns to be made because you can't rush things like this. this. Something like this cannot be rushed. So that is tonic polish. I actually do have more tonic polishes that I, ha I have ordered. They're sitting over here and I haven't tested them out yet, but I will definitely be making a part two for tonic tonic polish because after I purchased these and I tried them out, I'm like, yes, ma'am, I need to buy more. I got to buy more and I definitely did. Make sure and subscribe and keep checking in with me because I will be reviewing a second set of tonic polishes very, very quickly. But I do have lots of other brands to review in the meantime, some of which would be Fair Maiden Polish. I have some Painted Polish. I have Colores de Carol. I have a lot of Colores de Carol I need to catch up on. Uh, I have some Ever After Polish. I have a Lyrian polish. I have never enough polish. I've got a lot of polish, but they're all coming. So make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing lots of indie nail polish reviews because honeys, they are coming and they're going to be amazing. But that is my video for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!